finding a specified term of a geometric sequence given the common ratio in the first term. So my problem here says find the sixth term of a geometric sequence whose common ratio is 3 halves and whose first term is 6. So I know this sequence is going to look like this. The first term is 6, so it starts with 6, and then if the common ratio is 3 halves, that means to get each successive term, I need to multiply by 3 halves, okay? Well, 6 times 3 halves, I'm just going to do it over here to the side, right? 6 times 3 halves as fractions, 6 times 3 is 18, 1 times 2 is 2, 18 divided by 2 is 9, okay? So I know my next term is 9, then I need to take 9 times 3 halves to get my third term, right? So 9 over 1 times 3 halves, again multiply fractions straight across, 9 times 3 is 27, 1 times 2 is 2, 2 does not go into 27, so I'm just going to leave this as an improper fraction for now, okay? And then we keep following this pattern. Now, I could keep doing this till I get to the sixth term. That's not that many. I'm already partway there, halfway there, right? I've done three of the terms. Um, but let's say they had given me the 100th term or the 500th term, right? Something way down the line, and I don't want to just keep doing this multiply by three halves every time. So we can set up an equation right, to find the specified term, okay, so any term down the line, okay, a sub n, or if I wanted to write this in function notation, it would be the value of any term, nth term down the line, okay, will be the first term, so start with 6, and then we're multiplying by Actually, I'm going to put this in parentheses here, since I have a fraction. Our pattern is multiply by 3 halves. Now, to get to the sixth term, I don't multiply by 3 halves six times, because I didn't have to multiply by 3 halves to get the first one, only the next five, right? So I'm not multiplying by or 3 halves n times. I'm multiplying by 3 halves n minus 1 times. So my exponent is n minus 1. So whatever term number I want, my exponent will be 1 less. So if I want the sixth term, a sub 6, that means start with my first term, 6, and multiply by 3 halves 6 minus 1 times, or 5 times, right? So 6 times 3 halves raised to the fifth. And I'm going to go ahead and just put that into the calculator. So this formula will help me find any term down the line, not just the sixth one. Uh, so 6 times 3 halves, and I'm going to raise it to the fifth power. Gives me that. I'm going to change it back to a fraction. So 729 divided by 16, okay? So my answer is 729 divided by 16. Kind of a crazy fraction there. Okay, and that's it.